Now, the cascading effect of the country's ongoing economic crisis has led to deepening political instability in Sri Lanka. Protests have rocked the island nation for weeks now, with people coming to the streets to demand resignation of the Rajapaksa regime. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa was heckled by the protesters today during his visit to Sri Mahabodhi Tree in the holy city of Anuradhapura. People with placards chanted slogans against him, demanding his resignation. The Prime Minister is slated to meet with top Buddhist leaders during his visit to the holy city. Remember, usually leaders visit the city to obtain blessings before big events and ceremonies. Now, the visit comes after Sri Lankan Buddhist leaders reiterated the call for an interim administration, saying that it should be established with the cooperation of all political parties to resolve the present crisis in the country. In a letter addressed to the Prime Minister, President and Opposition, the leaders of three main Buddhist sects of Sri Lanka called on the government to take immediate action to bring, to bring political, social and economic stability in the country. And for more insight on this, we are being joined by Prasad Veli Kumbora, who is a social and political activist based in Colombo. Thank you so much for joining us at this hour. How effective do you think an interim government will be in dealing with the severe economic crisis that the country is facing? Uh, I believe uh, it can uh, affect positively on economic crisis, but the political crisis we have, mainly the uh, people are getting out in the streets, uh, they, are star they are demanding the current government to resign with the president. And I don't think people will agree to uh, an interim government. They are currently demanding uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksha to resign. That is their main, uh, main slogan. Right. So even if there's an interim government, I don't think people will leave the streets and stop protesting. That is the main reason why this uh, government is destabilize right also at this point what as per your assessment is the way to restore political and economic stability in the country i do believe uh, right now president has to bow down before uh, people's request he should resign and uh, uh, another thing people demanding is everyone from the rajapaksha family they have about eight people in the parliament, and there are another, another I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people connected to their family in the government positions, hmm. and people demanding all of them to resign. Uh, currently, about 70% of the uh, budget is allocated towards them, hmm. uh, one family uh, who rule in this country, and uh, they believe, people believe that is the main cause. Uh, of this political instability and economic crisis. They are bad governance, right. they are incompetence, uh, incompetency, and uh, the, the nepotism, basically. So I don't see how this will end without they are stepping back. Currently, they are not ready to stepping back. Hmm. And people are also not ready to stepping back. They are, yesterday, we had this uh, Hartal and everyone around the country. Um, more than 100,000 people from every city, every, every corner of the country, from north to south, uh, west to east, uh, joined the protest. And uh, they have closed down all the uh, shops, uh, not only uh, in public sector, uh, in private sector as well. Mm. And uh, everyone protested very peacefully. No violence okay. from the protesters. And uh, it's a very strong political statement in my point of view. And uh, current government should consider this as a, a call for resign. I, I don't right. think this will, like this peaceful protest will last long. Obviously, people will get frustrated and uh, there will be a clash. Right. Now, on that note, we've heard a lot about debt restructuring, coming up with a sustainable budget and finance plan for the nation. Now, what do you think is the way forward out of this crisis? Uh, debt restructuring is a must. Uh, at current at the current position, I don't think we do have enough uh, foreign reserves to pay debts. Hmm. So uh, we have to do that. We have to go to IMF and see what they are uh, 
what the conditions are, and we have to negotiate with them. And at the same time, we have to look towards the um, countries, uh, allied countries like India, uh, even China. They have been in our side as well. So we have to see how they can help, how we can get their help. Uh, even Japan, Japan was a bit, uh, hmm. they were not interfering with the government since they, uh, since current government uh, uh, suspended their LRT project. But I believe uh, there, 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 uh, there was been a long, uh, there have been uh, allies in for a long time and uh, we can negotiate with them. We can ask for their help. All right. And uh, there's no one way of uh, dealing with this economic crisis, but uh, we have to try every angle, every aspect of the uh, solving this crisis. All right. All right, Mr. Prasad Valikumbura, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your views with us. Thank you very much for having me here. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.